This term we have been learning about human rights. We have spent lots of time during this project thinking about what human rights are and why they are important to us. As well as that, we have been learning the inspirational story of the Olympics and Moyes Ramadini. We have created this video to show what we have learned. Hope you enjoy it. We all have the right to belong, to live in peace, no matter where we're from. We all have the right to own things and share. Nobody can take our stuff because that's unfair. Adults have the right to work and get away. Male or female, whatever their age. In peace we should all work together to defend our rights forever and ever. Lord, we treated fairly by the law. Who could ask for anything more? We all have the right to live our own life, free to cause man to be a husband or wife. We all have the right to live lives that are free, feeling safe in our community. There must be proper law and order so people can cross a country's border. See the joy that learning brings. We can work together to achieve anything. We all have the right to choose what we believe, to have a religion that allows us to achieve. Music, arts and crafts are for all to enjoy, providing lots of fun for girls and boys. We all have the right to an education, to finish university and have a graduation. We all have the right to meet and make friends. It would be wrong if those friends had to end. We all have the right to make up our minds and be treated fairly at the same time. So what is a human right? A human right is a right that belongs to every person. The Universal Declaration of the Human Rights was introduced in December 1948 after the experience of the Second World War. Nobody can change the human rights. Rights belong to everyone, whatever our differences. Rights believe that everyone is born free and equal and should be treated the, in the same way. It doesn't matter where you live, where you were born, whether you're rich or poor, or what religion you are. These rights belong to everybody. Leon came into our school and we gave him three words that we value, which are hope, dream and believe. He taught us different strategies of spray painting to each class so they can learn and create their own graffiti board. If I be true, the word hope. Hope is always believing and desiring a positive outcome to situations in your life. Never ever give up hope, even if you may think it not, it's not possible to complete any ambitions. Five angels don't want to dream. We believe that if you want to become someone or achieve something, you need to start off with a dream to follow. There to dream, you never know what it might get you. Year six is chose the word believe. To us, it means that if you believe in something or someone, you will be successful and achieve your goals. Also, if you believe in yourself, you will reach your goals.
Okay, Joy, can you stand up and give your verdict? Guilty! Yeah, well. If everyone thinks she's ill, she is very guilty, so we're going to give her a sentence of five years. <laughs> Hello, my name is Peter Blair, but I have all sorts of grand titles. His Honour Judge Peter Blair, Queen's Counsel, the Honorary Recorder of Bristol, a Senior Circuit Judge, and the Resident Judge for Bristol. I'm really looking forward to coming to speak with Years 5 and 6 at Wood Farm School, where we're going to be talking about human rights, about the rule of law, about the court and legal system in England, and basically, and most fundamentally, about people getting justice when something unfair has happened or they have a legal problem. I'm really looking forward to this. Every Olympic athlete has an interesting backstory, but Yusra Mardini's was more extraordinary. She saved the lives of 20 people, including her own, when she jumped into the Asian Sea. Just 12 months later, she entered the Rio 2016 Olympics and was the first refugee team to enter. Complete. Brought up in Syria where war was happening, Mardini was already a great swimmer. However, she as the word fight got worse and worse, she would find herself swimming and burn up pools by bombs. Eventually, as Damascus became increasingly more dangerous, Mardini and her sister Sarah left Syria where they travelled to Lebanon and Turkey before attempting to cross the Mediterranean Sea to reach Greece. They boarded the six-person boat with 20 other people on board. 30 minutes after setting off from Turkey, the motor on the boat stopped. <laughs> Water started moving in. When the, uh, most of the people there could not swim. With no other option, Mardini and her sister jumped into the sea and swam for three and a half hours to push their sinking dinghy. They were the only four in the boat who knew how to swim. Uh, it was cold, so cold. I don't know if I can describe that. Now she hates the sea. The memory of the terrible journey is not a nightmare for her. She remembers that without swimming, she wouldn't be alive. It's a positive memory for her. Reflecting off the water, the sparkling stars guide the boat across the furious sea. The smell of salty water wuff, wafted past the boat. As the wind howled, thunder started to brew. All of a sudden, the seagull started to squawk and make weird noises. Yusra shuffled closer to her sister Sarah, feeling the heat of her body compared to the freezing cold air. They both glanced at their other fellow travellers. Almost everyone's face was lit by the moon, making them look ghostly and weak. Come on. Can I, I don't think we can travel this much. 
longer. Well, we're almost there. We've made it, look, we made it, we're here. Yay! Yay! Mardini settled in Berlin, where she began swimming again. Training for hours every morning, attending school and then training, for, training all evening. The road to the Olympics was not easy, but after nine months, she was heading to Rio. Dear Diary, today I achieved one of the biggest goals in my life, reaching the Olympics and winning. As I walked nervously into the change rooms, I saw all of the other competitors running and rushing all over the place. I took a deep breath. It, took, it felt a little scary being near so many famous swimmers. As well as Amy High in the competition, she had other plans. I want everyone to see that refugees are normal people who lost their homelands and had to leave. By entering the stadium, we are encouraging everyone to pursue their dreams. At the 2016 Olympics, Mardini won the 100 meter butterfly key. While she didn't win gold, she inspired many people with the words, even if we have a tough journey, we can all achieve something. As her memories plagued her, she thought of Syria. She felt like going home, but she had come this far. She decided to go for it. She would swim. She put on her soaking goggles drying them beforehand. She got changed into her kit. How would she do this? When she thought of swimming in the sea for three and a half hours, this was nothing, really nothing. In the sea, she pretended it was a lake. This time, it was reality. Nothing would stop her from winning. Eventually, the announcement rang out. She was ready. Yuzu stood in line. Her heart was full of hope. Surrounding her was the freezing cold air hitting her entire body. Her heart was full of anticipation. All of a sudden, she could feel the, feel the pressure. Her nerves were rising up to the next level. She hadn't felt as nervous as this since the, she was in the dinghy. Ready, set, go. My hands tingling, I looked across to Sarah who was looking at me, her mouth dropped. I started to worry, closing my eyes, I turned my head towards the scoreboard. I opened my eyes to see my name written on the scoreboard. I was first place. The whole crowd was cheering my name. Yusra, Yusra, Yusra. I couldn't believe it, I had done it. Yusra Mardini wins. Yay! Since then, she has been travelling around the world talking about refugees. Soon there'll be a film made about her story. The world waits. What will happen next? Right way. Right way. Right way. Welcome to the Right Way Travel Show. This week we are looking at Lisa Mardini who went on two amazing journeys. Starting on the 12th of August 2015, Yusuf Mardini went from Syria through seven countries and finally reached Germany. From Syria into Lebanon, across to Greece, up to Macedonia, into Serbia, up to Hungary, across to Austria and over the border into Germany. The journey took 25 days and it was all on foot. Yusra Mardini's second journey was from Germany all the way to Rio. Not that Rio! Rio in Brazil. Yusra Mardini trained in Germany and qualified for the Rio Olympics as part of the first refugee team. Amazingly, Mardini won her first ever heat, but unfortunately she wasn't quick enough to qualify for the next round.
inspired you to think about how important your human rights are? How, how rights are your rights? rights.